Hey guys, what's up? This is Bath Boy, and welcome to Sandy Bay Farm Gold Edition. So, as you will have noticed, I took a bit of a break from this series. Um, I just thought that there was other things that I could upload and was missing, like my mods videos and also some sim racing. So now that is all done and caught up with, we are now back on the farm, which is great. So, as you can see, the biggest change is that I have purchased an auto stacker. Uh, I was having great problems forking the bales, I have to say. Um, so I just thought I'd make it easier for myself, a bit easier watching, um, and uh, to get an auto stacker. So I've just done a couple of runs uh, to the farm and sold some of these bales. So as you can see in the top right, we're on 18, just over 18,000. I was on uh, just under 16, so we've sold kind of two grand's worth of bales. It's not a massive amount, but. Um, you know we're getting there so this is the final run and I'm gonna keep these bales because we need them for um, we need them for the uh, cattle dairy farming um, and some other bits and bobs I'm sure so we need to do this pick up this last bale put that into the transport position and that's it for this field I'm pretty sure Let's double check yeah, that is it. So I am now going to head back over to the farm, drop these offs. Don't sell them. I need to remember not to sell them. Um, and then we're going to go and get the hay bales. And by that point, I'm hoping that the silage might be nearly fully fermented. So if it is, then we can get cracking on a bit of the dairy farm. Before we then look into my next stage, which is going to be... Uh, either sugar cane, sugar beet, or um, potato. So I need to have a look into that. See what fields we've got available to do that in, um, and we will go from there. But uh, I know a number of you have been asking me for farming simulator videos, but more specifically the Sandy Bay one. So here they are. You guys ask me what you want, and uh, usually, hopefully, I uh, deliver for you, like the mailman. <laughs> oh, God. Right, nearly back, it's not far from that field, really. So we'll go around here and we'll go the proper way as opposed to the bumpy, muddy way. There's the Massey having dropped off his load. I left it like that to kind of authenticate that it is the same series, the same farm, etc. Head down here to go and drop these off. That was steep, that was a bad line. Right, so I'm not going to sell them, so we do actually need to work out where the best place to store these are. And actually, having come down here, probably not the best place for them. While I am here though, let's just check on how this fermenting is coming along. 91%. So hopefully, that won't take too long, he says. Right, let's just go back up here. And see where we can store these bales. Out the way, right in here. Let's have a better look. Yeah, I would say there is as good a place as any. So we should be able to put those stacks in and the hay bales, or they could go in there or in there, I guess. Um, let's go. For round here, shall we? Go too fast. Who knows what could happen? Right, let's unload these. I do like using an auto stack, I have to say. It's very lazy, but honest to God, I had so much difficulty with the um, with the forks. Right, try that. Oh. That hasn't gone well, but... Oh well, it could have been a lot worse. So we need to go and get the hay bales now from the field that we... The grass field that we kind of harvested. There we go. Just waiting to make sure that that... We can get around there. Yes! Ooh. Couldn't turn as tight with that trailer. 
So let's head down here and get the hay bales. Need to get this guy out of the way, really, actually. Let's do that while I'm here. You're very much in the way. Um, taking property out of the way, shall we? Let's just put him up here so he's still relatively close to. There we go. Parked well out of the way and safe is the, which is the main thing. So I hope you're all glad to see this map back. I certainly am. It's good to be back out on the farm, I have to say. With the lovely New Holland. It is probably mm, not going to say my favourite. It's in my top three favourite tractors on here. It's from the big, um, the big New Holland pack that I showed in a previous video back in the day. Right. So this can fit eight bales. I'm imagining there's going to be more than that here, but we shall see. The only one up there is we'll go and get it. Go back down to the bottom. They've all rolled, evidently, which is really annoying. I'm not sure how that works in real life. Can anyone explain to me how that works in real life? I'm just guessing that they come out at such a slow speed out of the baler that they don't have enough force behind them to end up rolling down the hill, but I don't know. Satic wheel is proving handy here. Right, it's going to be tight. Let's see if we can grab it like this. Yeah, got it. That's good. That's it. Oh, there's one left. Oh well, go up here. Load it back next to the other bales, I think. We'll try and do a bit of a better job of uh, unloading them. Doesn't struggle up, even up the hill with a load on this tractor. Still at 27 miles an hour, nice. So as you'll have heard, or some of you may have heard, I am going to be doing live streams of Farming Simulator on Sunday evenings. Uh, however, however, uh, I was meant to be getting fiber broadband installed with mega upload speeds uh, last week, but it has been countless problems, obviously. And so that hasn't happened yet, but there's a engineer coming tomorrow and hopefully it will all be sorted then. And, you know, we won't have any other problems, I'm sure. Right, what's the best way to do this? Mm. Okay, let's get this jacked up. I think we'll put them in this kind of general area. Um, I might look to use the claw on these. Oh my god, they're all going to fall over, aren't they, there? Okay, so I finally actually decided to unload these hay bales here for a number of reasons. One, because it is by far the least precarious place to put them. There we go. He says... The, by far the least precarious position 
to put them. Uh, it's dry, they're safe, they're out of the way, etc. Uh, there's actually a couple more bales left in the field. There's a few that I didn't notice before. I managed to sort those bales out over there to make them into a nice stack, which took some time. Oh, I've got a cold. Well, getting one anyway, which is lovely. Right. Go and pick up the last of these ones, stack them up, and then we will have a look at the fermentation of the silage and uh, start loading the uh, feeder, I think. Can I get it? Yes! Uh, what's the best way to get these? Not like this. Not like this. Um... If I can get round. Ugh. There we go. So there was three. There was a couple in the hedge I hadn't noticed earlier. Um, but yeah, we're good to go. Right. So let's pack that up. <sighs> right, we're getting somewhere now. This episode really has been about kind of getting the wheels back in motion, so to speak, finding out, remind, remembering where we are, getting a set up for a much more productive next episode. This is kind of a bit of housekeeping and leftover stuff from where I left it before. Let's go and put these next to the other ones in here, if we can. It's not an ideal area to be reversing over, but sometimes you don't have much of a choice. Or could just put them in front of them, couldn't I? That's a good point. Mm, yeah, okay, I'll, I will put them in front of it. Perfect. Right. So let's go and park this up. Wait until we've removed, <laughs> lifted up the lethal collector from the side. There we go. Right. Let's go and park this up. In there will be just perfect. Yeah, we're in. I was just worried we were going to hit that post then. Should have had more faith in my abilities. Right. So, we'll go and park him up. Let's park him up in here, actually. Because we're going to try and use the other tractors for some stuff now. I've used that one quite a lot now. So what uh, have we got left to do here? So, what I would like to do, hang on one second. So let's see how fermented we are now. We are 100% fermented. So what are we? Ah, right, sorry, yeah, we're 13% full and it is fermented, which is excellent. But before we do that, I think, yes, let's pack this guy up. Sorry, go down trailer. <laughs> we'll pack him up because I think we might have another job for him. But let's go and have a look on the map. And we've got this guy down. There we go, right. Yes, so there is field 20. So let's go and have a look at what's going on there. So field 20 here, it's a massive field and we already own it, which is great. So it's a huge field of barley, which is good, because that means that we can use that tractor and trailer with this combine harvester. So I will go and pack the header up uh, over on its trailer over there, and we will head over to field 20. Okay, so we're now ready to roll out to field 20, so we need to go... We can go straight over that little tiny lane, I reckon. 
down to field 20 and then at the bottom of the road just at the top of 20 I think that's where the entrance is going to be it's where I would guess anyway so we need to go left and right here oh my god this looks tight we can do it though rear wheel steering should see us through yes we're good wow look I think is this willow farm up in this corner here yes I think it is yes it says down there on the map doesn't it uh, oh, what a lovely little country scene this is as he tries to manoeuvre a massive combine through it sorry coming through oh yeah that is that is British <laughs> right anyway onwards Okay, so here we are arriving at the massive field 20, so let's make this a bit easier to get in here. Get them open. Oh my god, this field's huge. What a lovely house you have. I'm sorry, my massive combine is in the way. Oh, I just missed your wall. <laughs> ah, what a perfect place to... Park this up, drop that off, and then we can whiz around here and get it hooked on. There we go, lovely stuff. Right, we'll get him set up, but we're not going to send him in this episode. We will wait until the next episode for that. Just about there. And he is, yes, ready to go. That is a big field. Wow. But you still won't get that much yield out of it. We'll get a lot, obviously, a lot of uh, crop, but it won't be as much as if it had been sprayed. Right, so one final thing we're going to do then. We're going to buy a... Uh, what are we going to buy? Yes. One of them. A bale claw. So I never normally use them, and I feel like I should in this situation because I've had so much problems, so many, so many problems with trying to spike them with this bale spike that I kind of think, why make life hard for yourself? So if we relocate that, where is it? Here, so let's reset that to the farm. Lovely. Right. So I think. Yes, there we go. The little button on top of the joystick on the SATEC wheel is where I've got that uh, kind of configured to. You press the button on the top of the joystick and it gives you a whole nother two axes of movement. So we'll get a straw bale and a hay bale and we'll put it into the feeder just before we actually start feeding in the next episode so let's let's get one of these this is going to be a bit tricky actually if I come from this angle it should be a lot easier do that here, yeah, there we go So what is the distance you kind of struggle with? Go back ever so slightly. And there we go, we, we've got it. I hope he's got it tight enough. <laughs> so we'll try and do a nice steady line on there. It's slipping. It's definitely slipping. Easy boy.
go. That's one in. So now we need to go and get a hay bale. Whoops. That's why you should always concentrate. And the hay bales were in a slightly different place, weren't they? Yes. In here. So we can get one of these lower ones this time. Should be a bit easier. Am I around that? See, this is the thing. It's like, you're not quite sure if you've got it or not. There we go. So that'll leave us with a 50-50 spread. I think you need a little bit more straw. We might have to put another bale of straw in there um, for the feeder. Because otherwise I think it might be a little bit diluted. Not very good. That bar is right in the way. I have to go on this view. Kind of didn't want to. Right. So he's kind of done for a minute actually, isn't he? So let's go and move him out of the way. And I reckon that's going to be about it for this episode. So he's full. Let's just have a look. Yeah, so he's 66% full, but just only just over on straw. So I think we're going to have to put another straw bale in. But we'll have a look at that when we have put some silage in at the start of next episode. So, um, yeah, that pretty much draws a line under this episode. Next one we will be, as I said, filling the remainder of this up. And we will go and feed the cows. Uh, hopefully then we will start producing some milk and earning some money off of them, which is good. Um, we will also then start that massive field and take the Massey Ferguson over there with the uh, trailer so they can just kind of crack on. And then we will look at the next phase, which I'm thinking of using that over there. Um, for another field or potentially doing some forestry so if you've got any opinions on that please do let me know which one you'd want to see uh, if you've enjoyed this episode then please do drop me a like subscribe there will always be farming simulator videos on this channel um, but for now that's it that's going to be it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it but for now goodbye